How do you feel about South London? Ghetto. North's the ghetto. They even females from South are done up. Ah. So then you just called me done up, my friend. Yes, I did. What happens when you mix blind dating with speed dating? One date, I will have 30 minutes to secure a blind date. Don't like your date? Electrocute them. Feeling the vibes? Then go for the reveal. That's my love language. Let's see who will secure a bay. I like you ready. <laughs> and who will be leaving alone today? So my name is Claudia Fior and I am a freelancer. I work as a journalist, social media manager and a PR specialist as well. Actually, I don't think I have a type on paper. Apart from, can they just have nice teeth? I just really need someone to have nice teeth because I can't deal with that. I need someone who's funny, doesn't care about what other people think about them. Someone who's honest and knows how to communicate and also likes a bit of drama. Yo. Yo, what are you saying? What's your name? Sabs. I'm Claudia. Oh, that's a nice name. Thank you very much. How old are you? I'm 19. What about you? I'm 23. 23? Yes. Okay. Um, I can make it work though. Mm, I don't know if I can, that's the problem. Why is that? I don't know. Just never dated anyone younger than me, to be honest with you. Yeah, you ain't dated the right people then, innit? Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. Maybe you're right. Let's see if you are the right person. So I'm going to start off with, can you drive? Yes. Do you have a car? Yes. What car do you have? Does that matter? And not really. I don't know anything about cars. I mistook a BMW for an A-Class the other day. OK, OK. I drive um, a Vauxhall Corsa. OK. No idea what that is, so... How do you feel about tattoos? I'm taking the conversation elsewhere because I don't know anything about I like cars. tattoos, you know. I want to fill my whole body up with them. Do you have any right now? Yeah, i got a half sleeve on my left arm. Any more than that? No, that's about it. I've got about 39. 39? Yeah, but no Crazy. sleeves. None of them are joined. They're kind of all okay, over my body. OK, Um, What part of London are you from? North. Aye. How do you feel about South London? Ghetto. I have to disagree with you on that one. South London's the best part of London. Even, North's the ghetto. They even females from South are done up. Ah, but well then you just called me done up, my friend. Yes, I did. Hey. I think the date was alright. I feel like it was starting off well. Then as soon as she asked her, what do you think of South? It just it went down from there, innit? I don't really understand why he thought it was okay to call me done out when he's from North London. North London is done out itself. Plus, South London gives you character. He's the one that's done out. The amount of South girls I've known, and they just move recklessly, they move mad. They're different to North girls, like, whole different breed. Hi. Hi. You all right? Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? I'm Aaron. What's your name? Claudia. How old are you, Aaron? I'm 27. Okay. All right, I'm How old are you? I'm 23, which means I'm oh, okay. younger than you, but at least you're not that that's younger than me. That's a good age so difference. Right. Yeah, no, it's all right. I thought right. they were going to bring someone that's like 19. Or I had one, a 19-year-old before this just now, so it wasn't exactly Was he normal. immature? Uh, yeah, he called me done out here because he said wow. I was from South London, so... Um, South London's the spot. What are thank you about? very much. South London is the I'm here like spot. five days a week. What are they talking about? Moving on. Um, what's your ideal first date? Something fun followed by food. So what I normally used to do is go arcades and then go out to eat something great. Because you spend the time laughing, it's easier to talk, there's less nerves, and then you can go on bumper cars and just hit each other. All right, cool. So if you're saying something fun, if I ask you to take a shot of Ray and Nephew with me right now, will you do it? It's going to get a bit wild in here if I take Ray and Nephew. That's poison. No, it's not poison. It's a summer drink. I tried not to drink, because once I've had that first drink, it's over. I'm going to drink everything I can find, and I'm going to be the wildest one in the room. Oh, did you need to do that? Yeah, you don't want to drink Ray and Nephew. Right? <sighs> Yeah, I, li I like my health, in it. So. I like my health. You just make up for it with the food that you eat. I was that vibey, and I'm getting buzzed off because I don't drink. Or well, try not to. <laughs> Why am I offended? I can't believe that because I won't get drunk one time. We're not at a party. We're just here. I've got places to be after this. And you're buzzing me off because I won't take Ray and Nephew. Now, you seem like a cool person apart from buzzing So me do off. you, apart from the fact you don't drink Ray and Nephew. That's mad because I don't, because I don't get drunk. <laughs> If I could have changed something about this date, alcohol wouldn't have been the biggest factor for me to leave. Hi. Hi. You all right? You good? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? It's Ronnie. What's yours? Claudia. Claudia, nice to meet you. I have a question. Right, go on then. Are you willing to start this date off with a shot of Ray and Nephew? It's, yeah. Yes. All day, let's go. Right, I'm going to swing it back to you. All right, cool. Like, can you, like, grab it? Yeah. There you go. All right, all right are you ready? Yep. One. Two, three, go. Oh my god. I don't think I was actually prepared for it. Burns a bit. Yeah, it was just more than a bit. Next question leading on from taking shot of Ray and Nephew. Wow. Uh, do you know Sneak Bow Touch a Button? Don't know what? 
the song Sneak by Touch a Button. No, I don't. Oh, I'm so sorry, because this was going so well. <laughs> I think the date went a bit bad. <laughs> I mean, she asked me if I knew a song and I didn't, and she kicked me up for it. Um, bit peak, but well, what can I say? I don't know why he doesn't know Sneak by Touch Do you want me to sing it to you? Sneak to the bow, I'm well known. I bang bang and I still get dough. I went jail, fuck yeah, feds, I'm home, know you know. <laughs> do you know what you should do? Go home and like type it on YouTube. I listen to a lot of hip hop and uh, like old school hip hop, I listen to rock music, stuff like that, so that's probably why I didn't know the song that she said. Hey, hi, hello. You all right? How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Yourself? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Jamal, what's yours? Claudia. Nice to meet you. You too. How old are you? I'm 20 years of age, yourself? I'm 23, so I'm a little bit older than you. Ever so slightly. So what do you do, like, for a living? Do modelling, acting, I'm a PT, um, a lot more that comes with it as well. And um, what do you do in your free time? My free time, I'll go out, enjoy myself, a couple drinks with the lads, you know, just live life to the full, we're young. All right, cool, so if you like drinks, are you willing to take a shot of Rain Nephew with me right now? Ooh. Just say if, yes. If I have to, like, go on then. Go on then, there you go. Pour a drink. Peer pressure's a but it's a nice All right, ready? So one, two, three. Yep. Ross Clark. <laughs> <laughs> A question that I feel like is valid for a first date is... OK. Do you have any exes that you think... that think they're still your... They're, that they're still in a relationship with you? No, no, I've set my boundaries. Are you certain? Are you 100% sure that you I think could that? I could ask you the same. Huh? I could ask you the same. But you didn't say that you're certain and then you flipped the question on me. I mean, yeah, I think so. I hope so. Mm. I hope so. I, we've not been together for a year and I hope that he doesn't think that he's still my boyfriend. A okay. little birdie might have told me that you are wearing an item of clothing that either belongs to your ex or was gifted to you by an ex. So oh. I just want to clarify what's going on over there because... Well, um, you know, I just went with the outfit, so I put it on, not really thinking too much, you know? Mm. No, what item of clothing is it, if I may ask? It's a scarf. A scarf, all right, cool. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was here thinking, like, what could it be? Like, a crop top? Because <laughs> I don't really know how you're squeezing oh, into that no. or what's going on. I was thinking, like, do you know what? T-shirt can run. Shoes, God forbid. No, that's, most that's a like no-no. Too much pride for that. Why would you think that the appropriate thing to wear would be an item of clothing that belonged to your ex? Only because it matched my shoes. They got pink on them. Okay, so you, you colour coordinate? <laughs> yeah, I love I love fashion. Okay, cool. Yeah. I like that, I like that. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a freelancer in everything that I do, but I essentially work as a journalist, a social media manager and PR. Okay, so, and what, you live in Lewisham? No, 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 Stratton. I do not live in Lewisham. I grew up in Streatham Sides, but I actually live in Cross Harbour, which is like East London. I live in the city now. Okay. So like, Canary Wharf. You into star signs? No, no. I, I know nothing about star signs. I know I'm a Virgo. Are you into star signs? I'm a Virgo myself. Are you a Virgo? September. Oh, I'm August. I'm literally the last day of August, though, the 31st. Yeah, I could tell your personality is similar to mine. I don't know nothing about star signs. All my friends are like, yeah, d -d -d -d, my moon rising is this. And I'm like, listen, <laughs> all I know is that when Mercury's in retrograde, I act up. That's, That's what we're going through right now. Wait, are we in retrograde? Yep. Rotted. Hey, do you want another shot? Yeah, go on. Why Let's not? Go. Have you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. One, two, well, three. Well, we got any juice? No, it's shots. It's just straight shots. Right, done. Uh, what? <laughs> what? No, we were counting it. Okay, one, two, three. Mmm. Fuck it out. Right, so, do you know the song Sneak Bow Touch Mmm, I know Sneak Bow, but I don't know his music like that. If I say two lyrics to you, are you going to know it? Go on. Touch a No, wait, what? No, Sneak to the Bow. I'm well known. I bang bang and I still get dough. Yeah, old school. Yeah, old there school. you go. All right. Um, another question that I may ask is... Um, hmm. Hmm. Could always buzz. Oh, do you want me to? Because you're no, making no, it sound no. like you don't want to speak to me. I mean, I can. Yeah. Like, I really can. I'm no, going to do it. Questions. Because you made it sound like you don't want to talk to me now, so I'm just going to buzz it. Oh, let go then. I, I did, but I kind <laughs> of like got drunk and pressed it like three times. I'm so sorry. No, that's good. I didn't mean to buzz you that many times. I only buzzed you off because you seemed like you didn't want to talk to me, by the way. Just okay. because, and you're not denying it. So I'm going to take it as a yeah, he didn't want to talk to me got her to buzz me off because um, I went off energy more than anything. She realised that it got to a stage where um, I mentioned the star signs, both Virgos, but so, so alike, so similar. I felt, I felt the bond, I felt the link, but I looked for the future, so I'm thinking, cool, 
if I want to be with you, we're going to end up falling out within a week because we're so alike. Do you get me? He didn't like me. And I don't actually understand why. I thought we were getting along great. He clearly had a problem with me, though. I'm, I'm about fitness, so if you're bang on a drink and all them things, that's something that I'm trying to avoid. So that's an influence there. Wild one, guys. It's your girl, Claudia. If you're enjoying this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below. Hi. Hello. You all right? Still alive, yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm living, I'm surviving. What do you do for a living? I'm an engineer. I don't actually know what that involves, you know, engineering. So it's like building stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, so I work as a freelancer. I work in journalism, PR, and social media marketing. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a hobby? I do like, um, it's like this weird form of like animal wrestling where I get like goats to fight like sheep and and stuff like that. What? Like, what, like cock wrestling? Like, no, so no, no, no. dog fights and cock wrestling, but... Yeah, but this is more like grass Mixing animals. breeds. Not mixing breeds. It's fighting breeds. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, like mixing breeds to fight. Yeah. Okay, I'm a bit confused, but I'm also a bit intrigued, so I kind of want to figure it out. I don't know if you're lying. Are you being deadly serious? Oh, 100%. I look like I lie. Oh, I can't see you, so how am I meant to know if you look like you Do lie? I sound like I lie? A little bit. You're a bit hesitant to say everything. How? So I'm going to test it out with a few other go questions. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Right, so next question, have you got any baby mums? One that's found me. One that's what? One that's found me. Yeah, yeah, found yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? You've got others that just haven't located you. you don't, well, I don't know. They haven't located me, so I wouldn't know, would I? Like, are you just having unprotected sex around you the whole world? You don't know who keeps them and who doesn't. Well, well, you should What's know who it? keeps them. People would want child to... What do you mean you've got babies around the planet that you don't know about? If you got pregnant and you didn't tell the guy that he was pregnant, but I... how's he going to know that he's got you pregnant? Because the child or me would tell him. Or you would remember who you've had unprotected... You... Who... Do you not remember who you've bust up inside of? Because that's a bit mad. 2015 was a rough year, what can I say? We didn't even get to taking a shot. Like, we didn't even get to take a shot together because I'm scared that if I take a shot with this guy, I'm gonna end up with a baby. You don't know what's gonna happen. This is the third time I've been here, uh, and you know, I've been buzzed off three times. I know what the electric shock feels like. Do you know what? 2015, 2016 were a good year for me. So me and him were like two different. Oh, it was a good year. It wasn't. It, you just said it was a mad year and then you can't remember all the babies you've had. Like, that's what I've taken from the conversation. Well, her problem by the year 2015, that's her business. I feel like, you know, it was a good year. She's telling me it wasn't. She wasn't there, so, you know. And if she was, she wouldn't be pregnant. How's about that? Sit down. Hello. Hey, you where? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, you know. How, what's your name? Um, H. Yours? I, I know that's not your government. H, is it? H, that's a letter, <laughs> that's not your government. I want government uh, names Hugo. right now, please. What? Hugo. Hugo. All right, I'm yeah. Claudia, nice to meet you. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I'm sporty, so I like to go to the gym, I like to play football. Okay, I can swim and I can ski. I'm not really a sports, but I've recently started going to the gym because I'm going on holiday, so I'm like, I need to get my summer body. So I've had previous issues. Now, I'm not a big girl, I'm quite small, I'm quite slim, but um, I, my ex-boyfriend could not pick up 60 kg. Now that is what I weigh, and he weighed the same thing as me, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, which yeah. meant that he couldn't take me pick up his own body weight. Can you pick up your own body weight? Yeah, yeah. So what can you lift? Uh, probably over 100. Okay. What are your interests? What are you, what are you into? Uh, I'm really into writing. Like, I write poetry and I also write articles because obviously I'm a journalist. Like, that's just what I do as a journalist. So what about with the poetry stuff? Uh, poetry stuff, do you know what? Uh, poetry's like more just my passion rather than like a full-time thing. So uh, poetry, like, I kind of do it whenever I'm sad. That's mainly when poems come out of me, like whenever I'm feeling depressed or sad. Yeah, let or... me hear something then. Oh, there is no way. What? There is no Why way. Do you, do you think, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to do it just because you've asked. Yeah. Right, so uh, this poem is called uh, Perplexing. Mm -mm. So it goes, empty mind, empty page, nothing to write but jargon. I seem to become more callous with age. Is it because of my misery is so far gone? Or could it possibly be a lack of emotion, an evident lack of devotion, actively seeking inspiration, but all I find is frustration? 
Rooted in the very epitome of my being while the rest of me is fleeing, love, care, loyalty slowly transform into triggers of anxiety. An infesto of panic burns deep within all because of what has been. And that's how it ends. Oh, I definitely stumbled sweet. better across my words because I'm drunk. No, that's all right. It's, where's my drink in that? You're not Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Do you want a shot of Ray and Captain Morgan's? The Ray and Nephew's done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There you go. It's going oh, over. Good. Uh, you got it? Yeah, Don't yeah. spill it. Are you ready? You're going to drink it together, yeah? Mm -hmm. You sound like you're back to I really did it. I said oh, free. Come on, man. Oh. Of course I was counting one, two, three. The <laughs> life. Okay, so I've just received a text that says, you have reached the end of your date. You must now decide if you'd like to see your date for the first time. Text back, yes or no. Can I take it off? Yeah. You all right? Right, right thank on. you. So, can you ask me some questions now? I'm tired of everyone. What do you want me to ask you? I don't um, know. You think of something. Uh, what do you want cool. to know? What's the most random thing you've ever done that you're ashamed of? Had sex on an airplane, but in the airplane seats, not in the toilet. <laughs> and I definitely, the man behind, I didn't realise there was someone behind me. And as I climaxed, I looked over and this 60 year old white man definitely thought he made me climax because I looked him in the eye while it happened. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's probably the weirdest thing. You're saying no turbulence. No, it was a very smooth ride. I thought it was okay. an empty flight as well, but yeah. apparently not until I looked back. Do you know what I mean? Right. It was just a yeah. bit. What's yours? Because I'm just talking and exposing My, myself here. I have probably jumped out of a car whilst moving. What? So you want to say you're not that exciting, but that's definitely like. Yeah. Was it how fast was it moving? It was going about 15 miles an hour. Why the fuck did you jump out? That's the question I want to know. Like, was your life in danger? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Was the car gonna crash? It, Something like that. No, you yeah. need to elaborate. You can't just be giving me this half hour. Like, yeah, the car was the car was um I was in a sticky situation, so I had to just jump out. Abort mission. So having said that, I've just gotten a text and it says, now that you've seen each other, you have a decision. You can stick with or sack off your date. And now we have to decide. Right, so the point essentially is if you don't like me, you electrocute me slash buzz me off. Cool. And if you do, you simply do nothing and we progress further. So three, two, one. I mean, I didn't feel anything. So I hope that was the right time. Still here, still. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I did my team. You're saying high energy, come on. So I think our date went quite well, but then again, I'm very, I'm quite drunk, so I'm gonna say yes to everything. But he's a nice person, I'm here right now next to him. His arm's like behind me, do you know what I mean? I think it's gone well. Yeah, it's been, it's been good. Good talker, it's been vibesy. There you All go, right. we could high five now without anyone seeing. There you go. The experience was, was kind of weird, man. I was nervous, I can't lie. But um, yeah, it was fun, man. I feel like the first date, we should go rock climbing. That is so sick. That is so sick. That, do you want to get married? What are you going to do? What, We're tomorrow? Gonna get, yeah, calm. Yeah. We're going to get married. Because what? I really thought you were going to be like, you want to go for dinner? No, I don't. I want to go like absorbing or rock climbing. I want to jump off a cliff. Bang, bang. <laughs>